it had always been in the back of my mind to make a feature and Rob Hill and I uh, had been talking about it for years and years and years and then I started talking to Andy Stark who's the producer on Down Terrace about it and we but Andy and I had had a con talked every day for like two years just you know what are we doing what are we doing how are we going to do it and I'd got this script together and I showed it to Rob and said look we're going to make this and that was Down Terrace hey, hey big Bill hey. Oh. <laughs> can't keep a good man down can they I went into Down Terrace not thinking about it at all. And we arrogantly went in and went, we're just going to make this film, we'll do whatever we want, we're not going to talk to anybody. So we didn't try and raise money, we didn't talk to Film 4 and we didn't talk to Beer Fire or any of these guys. Didn't enter into that conversation. Because we knew they would never fund it anyway. You know, first-time film director with a British crime film is just the least likely person to get money in Britain. Are you serious? It's for a real gun, yeah, just bought it for 200 quid. Are you serious? This is a real shooter? Basically, Rob and I had made this script so that it could be filmed in his mum and dad's house, so that it was doable, you know, and that was the main bit of... That's the main thing that separated us out from all the people who wanted to make films who couldn't make films, was making that pragmatic, practical decision that we were going to write something that we could actually do rather than write something and then try and get money in or borrow money from people to kind of to make our thing come true, you know, and I think that's the, that's the big mistake on first movies. And when, I, when I, I get a lot of emails about it and, and I try and say, you know, you should never be in debt making a film and you shouldn't borrow money off people. You should cut your cloth according to all the money that you've got because the equipment now has come down so much that it's absolutely doable. One more word from you about her, Dad. Just keep your beak out, all right? Oh, you want your mother and I to go to prison? You want us to be murdered in our beds? No! Well, look, listen to me. She's got to go. She's the rogue element. Down Terrace's tonal shifts are written into the script. That idea of going from things being all right to things being a disaster on, 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 a, on a twist of a phrase was really important um, because we figured that that was much more like real life and that you can have an argument with your partner and um, be forgiven within a split second, but also that can fester for, for hours and, and bur reburst up in flame and then go back down again. You've got bits of life that you've got to sort out at the same time. So you, you're managing those kind of levels of frustration the whole time. Mum! Mum! Mum, where have you seen those lads? Oh, it's okay. It's not okay! Oh, there they are. We started making it. And really, we didn't have time to over um, intellectualise it while we were making it because we were just doing it. And and when it was done, you know, we shot very quick. It was done in eight days, and everybody just looked at each other. And we'd had a it was an incredible rush, and everyone was just elated. And we were like, oh my god, we've done it, we've made it. We don't know what it is we've made, but we've 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 done something. And then a month or so later we finished editing it we watched it and we, we liked it and that was great you know but it could have easily gone the other way where we'd have looked at it and gone it was terrible and we were quite prepared just to shelve it at that point because it hadn't cost that much money to do um but we were really happy it was good <laughs>